You mean the light that'll make me look awful like I've been dead for five years? No. That light that makes you pretty. Okay. So we know you just had a Letterman appearance. Mm -hmm. We'll be on Carson in a little bit. What's going to happen next with you guys? Uh, write some more songs for the next record. You have one planned? Yeah. And then uh, play live a few more dates in February uh, and March, and then go in and record the next record, the end of March. Yeah, but you already selected for that, or you guys? Uh, not really. We have stuff written, but we haven't really sorted through it all yet. Okay. And I couldn't answer this question. How would you describe the band? What, what, is, what are the maniacs? It's hard to say. I guess we're a band that's sort of ignorant enough to uh, take any musical style and try and play it. I've heard you on the Folk Hour launch. I've heard the band on IRQ. I've heard you in everything. Uh, what, what, what do you think you have such a wide appeal for? You know, so your, the appeal, your audiences are so different. Well, you play sort of a lot of different styles of music. I mean, in a sense, it sounds like us. Everything ends up sounding like 10,000 Maniacs. But some things have a more rock and roll bent. Some things sound like pop songs. Some tunes sound like folk songs. Uh, some songs sound just like weirdness occasionally. What's your favorite obsession? One last question here. Your favorite obsession? Yeah. When you're out on, on the road? Oh, I like to uh, buy ties and toys, especially toys at truck stops. It's one of my favorite things, actually, is to buy toys at truck, truck stops. stops, yeah. I don't want to know what you do with these toys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, five years from now, where's the band going to be? Last question here. I don't know. Rob going to be in five years? Gee, maybe I can have my own apartment someday. <laughs> I can afford real clothes instead of dead people's clothes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was easy.